All right, guys. Well, here it is. I've been really excited for this moment uh, to get home and do this unboxing. And I know a lot of people want to see this very, very important note. Please listen to this before I start this video. This is very important. Um, I'm having trouble with this camera, okay? And it's the only thing I have available right now. Uh, basically, things at a distance are a little bit blurry, but anything up close is crystal clear, okay? So understand that once I get this gun out of here, if you're looking at something that's a little bit blurry, uh, I'm going to bring the gun close and you'll see everything um, in detail, okay? I don't have time to wait around and mess around, okay? There's there's a final bill in here. There's paperwork in here. Um, I have ammo here. I, I need to keep rolling. I can't. I don't have time to play around and uh, and wait and, you know, put this, prolong this video. So there will be several videos on this to come, I'm sure. So like I said, you're going to see a blurriness, but anything up close is going to be clear just like this. So bear with me, please. Uh, it would figure that this happens today, of all days, with my camera that I use all the time. But that's just, you know, how some things work. And hey, it could be worse. And uh, we will uh, roll on with this. Okay, so I have not seen it yet. You're going to be seeing it for the first time uh, with me. So I will have to get that little bit of paperwork out of here probably. Um, make sure it's not, you know, don't want some, some things you just don't want on video. So, okay. Has it packaged up nice with that foam on there. It's actually, wow, yeah. Actually packaged better than when I sent it to him. So, um... Good job on packaging. And just so everyone knows, um, this was not done for free. Uh, it was not a gift. It was not a freebie. Um, I contacted him and to have all this work done. So here we go. Man, I'm really, really excited. Oh, yeah. I, I bought this gun and shipped it off a few days later, and I have not seen it since. So let's get right to it. Okay. Let me see what all's on this. Okay. Okay, awesome. Oh my. Wow. Now that is a picture perfect stippling job if I've ever seen one. Now I know this should be coming out pretty crystal clear. Anything close will. Wow. Now I haven't felt this yet. Uh, I've been told. I've been told by Bowie and some other people that, or I've read from other people, that the tree bark stippling is better than the dots as far as keeping a good grip. Now, he left the beaver tail smooth, just like I would want. Oh, man. This is sweet. Yeah, I kind of noticed those sights, too, guys. <laughs> wow. Man, this really feels good up here. I don't know what he did. It looks like it's contoured. Man, does that give me grip right there. Man, this is awesome. Wow. Man, that's awesome. That's even stippled. Uh, I hope I had this close enough for you. Sorry, guys, if I didn't. I'm kind of forgetting. Okay. This is amazing. David Bowie, so far, I love this. Uh, the trigger guard has been undercut. There's so many things I just, I, I don't even know where to begin. The trigger guard has been undercut. Um, the, the hump behind the mag release, I shoot left, has been, uh, relieved. I would go like this, and even though I have big hands, I was having a hard time getting to that button. Now look, no problem. So that hump was taken off, uh, behind that. Look at this. So cool. Man, I mean, right here, I have never felt anything that locks my grip and that's secure is when your thumb hits this going downward right there. I mean, I feel like I could, I feel like I could shoot like this. I could open up my hand like this and put my finger in there and shoot. I mean, that is just amazing. Now, of course, there's no mag and it isn't, wow, that thing's really smooth. Man, that's way smoother than when I sent it to him. I don't know what all he did in there, but uh, this has been fired. Uh, it's been fired upside down. It's been just you know, uh, test fired through several different paces that he puts it through. 
I called her. I called him, and he personally told me about what he did to this. As far as the test firing, he turned it upside down, shot it with his pinky. He said the throw is different, and there's different things that happen when you shoot a gun upside down, and it's one of the tests that he puts the guns through. And uh, I had him put his sights on here. Okay, basically, um, I think he's partnered with Ameriglo, and. I bet that's sighted in right, yeah. But uh, he's I think he's partnered with Ameriglo. But these are his sights. Basically what this is, is you have the luminescent front sight that has the tritium insert in there. And the front is lu it's a luminescent square. And then the rear is blacked out, except for uh, if you were to use this in the dark, you would have night sights. But they're rimless night sights. So uh, if, the, if I didn't have an under 700 watts of light or so, you would see that the, that the rear uh, tritium vials really wouldn't show. It would be kind of blacked out. Now, I know that's the way I believe that uh, that Mossad Ayub uh, prefers his gun to be blacked out rear and high visibility front. They say it's the quickest to acquire. That's what I went with um, on this. Uh, these are the, these brand new VTAC sites are for sale for an M&P. Uh, they're going to be really cheap, but that's going to be a separate video to come uh, soon here. But yeah, man, this is just this is awesome. Man, I'm loving it. I mean, you have no idea. This is just so great. And you know, figures today of all days, my camera is acting up on me. I went ahead and switched this to the left. Oh, yeah, no problem now. Um, kind of having a hard time getting my standard grip, not because of the gun or anything, but because I'm hugging a tripod. But, man, I can really I can really lock this gun in there. I mean, my thumb up here on this, guys, I'm not kidding you, my thumb on these forward serrations are doing so much for my grip that I've never felt this hand do before for that grip up there. I've just never, I've never felt this hand be able to have uh, that much control like it does on this. So I have to say that Bowie is right when he said that this stippling is a better stippling. Um, it feels really good in the hand. And I mean, overall, I just, I think he just, he did a really great job. You know, he just did a really great job on stippling. Now, I haven't even tried the trigger. <laughs> now, that's going to be a good part, too. Now... I wanted the trigger to be, it's supposed to be, it's called, there's a few different trigger jobs he does. One's called the L trigger where it's where it's left out and it's longer. One's called the S where it's shorter, depending on your hand, hand size. I believe this is a newer one of his. And this is called the LX trigger job. This is supposed to kind of replicate a 1911 trigger with very little pre-travel and very little over-travel and everything smoothed out, and I wanted this to be at four pounds. He'll go down to four pounds, and I thought that was fine. So let's go ahead. Okay, nothing in chamber. Man, did he do a good job on the reliability package he put in there. Still not done, guys, going over what he did to this. Let's go ahead and test trigger pull. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I literally thought I was just getting ready to get it. I th <laughs> Oh my god. I literally thought I was just getting ready to uh get into a just a hair of take up and it snapped. Let me I gotta see if that was for real. Okay, now let's do the reset. Okay, there's the reset. Okay, so I'm holding on reset and Oh my that is a very nice trigger. Let's do this again and I'll do the reset for you guys. Let me see the take up. Let's see if we can see the take up. Now, don't count this. This has trigger flex. See the trigger flexing? Don't count that. So, you don't wanna count this trigger moving because it's supposed to flex. See the bottom flexes before the top part moves? And it's designed that way, so you can't count that. But let's do the take up. Watch the top of the trigger. Watch the top of the trigger. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that
that I, I'm just speechless, guys. I, I'm just, for the first time ever, I'm normally a big mouth all the time, but for the first time ever, I'm speechless. That is the clo I, I mean, to me, I, this might sound silly, but I think that feels better than most of the 1911s that I've fired. Now, this is not like Wilson Combats, but Colts and stuff. I think it feels better than those. Oh my gosh, David. I don't even know what to say. I just, I literally don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That trigger is amazing. Let, let's let's do the, the trigger pull and reset again. Okay, now watch the top half of the trigger. That's going to show you the pre-travel. See the top half? Okay, man. Oh my goodness. This is... This is just insane. Okay, now here's the reset. Okay, it does have a nice audible click. I can feel it in my finger. Um, no issues, no problems there. Uh, wow. I I don't know that I've I don't know that I've ever felt a trigger quite like that. I I just don't. I don't know if I've felt one like that. Now some of the other things that he did is like I said his night sights. Probably repeat myself here. High vis front with the tritium insert in there, uh, the luminescent paint, and the blacked out rear with your tritium vials, you know, that would show in the dark. Um let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and get ready to break her down for you. Um, it's very smooth feeling. I don't. Something. It, it's it's nice, but it's something very kind of odd because um, I frog glued this gun before I sent it to him, and I've messed with this gun. I've handled it. I've dry fired it, and the slide just feels different to me. So whatever you did, sir, you did a great job. I mean, you just you did outstanding on this thing. Okay, let's check for the. Um, what he did with the reliability package. Try to keep everything close. I'm sorry guys if anything's getting blurry, but like I said, it has to move on. The videos and things I'm doing, I have to keep moving. Wow, he really um, polished that. Polished the feed ramp and polished the chamber. Okay, that's the reliability package that he did for the uh, for the gun. And I'm, you know what? I can tell he shot it, and I would want nothing more. I don't care if I don't care if he put 500 rounds through it. I mean, because that's the man that you want handling your gun. If there's a hiccup, if there's something wrong, um, that's the man you want holding your gun because he will, uh, he'll get it fixed for you. He told me it was running like glass. Man, this is awesome. Look how high, highly polished that plunger is. I'm telling you guys, um, I never had a gun uh, that uh, sent out to be customized or anything before. And I got to tell you, um, I probably would have done this years ago. Had I known the results of this, because I'm literally floored. I've got no vested interest in this. Um, I have nothing for free. I, I, I paid every penny that every other customer would pay uh, for this. Um, no, actually, one thing he did do for free, which isn't really that big of a deal. Um, I mean, money-wise. But I do appreciate him for doing this. He told me that when he went out and he fired this gun, I believe he said that he felt a clunk. He said the gun cycled, it ran fine, but he said he felt a little clunk there that he wasn't too particularly uh, fully satisfied with. So he said, what I did was, he said, I just went back in and I did the reliability package on the chamber and the feed ramp for you. And he said, no charge to you for that. Um, and that was just great. He mentioned something about, you know, some guys, you know, you tell them that. Or 
I don't know. I, you know, I, I imagine there's people that need that and maybe he tells them and they get angry or something. I don't know. But all I do know is this is, um, David Bowie's customer service is awesome. I wasn't looking for a freebie. Um, I wasn't looking to get anything free. I went off of his prices on his website. And in the end, he said, look, I, I just felt that the, that the gun could be smoother when it, when I was shooting it. And I gave you the reliability package for free. So, I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah, it's a $25 thing, but I mean, hey, you know what? For for a man that does this kind of work uh, with his expertise and his skill to do something like that for a common guy that sends this in, um, to me, that just shows, uh, let me tell you this, Bowie is an all-out upstanding guy all the way around. I've spoken with him on the phone several different occasions um, from before I even... Before I even uh, took this gun to be mailed, you know, I spoke with him on the phone. Uh, I have spoke with him uh, after that. I have spoke with him when he finished the work here. Uh, I've talked to him quite a few times on the phone. And I did tell him, I said, hey, look, I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to do a video of your work. Uh, you know, I said, I'm going to do a video when I get this gun back. And I said, I'm really excited. I'm going to do it for the channel. And, uh, and he basically just kind of said, okay, you know, he didn't really, he didn't really look at it as any kind of big deal. And I sent him the paperwork and did what, any, what any other person would do. The only thing different with me when I sent this to Bowie was, is he is in my state. But you see, the weird thing is, is he's so far away from me. He's like at the complete opposite end. He's like almost well, he's close to the furthest you could be from me in Ohio and still be in here, be in the state because uh, Google Maps says he's three hours and 50 minutes one way from me. So I, I wish that I could have just taken this to him and picked it up, but, you know, and did, did some films of him. But uh, it's just not feasible at this time. That's just too far. Uh, you know, I got my dogs. I can't just go and stay somewhere. Guys, I'm rambling, but... um. This thing is amazing. I'm loving these sights. Uh, they're they are sweet. Um, I might I might cut the film and add a clip and showing you the sights with the lights out. And we'll see if we can see them. Uh, M and P sights selling these real soon for really cheap. But uh, man, I I'm floored. I that's all I can say. That's all I can say is I. I don't know what else to say. He just, he, he's, this guy's a master at what he does. Let's mess with the trigger a little bit, because this is one of the main things I needed done to this gun. I'm not going to bash M&P uh, uh, by any means. Um, they're a quality gun, and a lot of law enforcement use them, but the trigger on this was just like, <laughs> I'm just sitting there thinking, you're going to have to train to use this one, but now let's look. Let's see what David Bowie did for my gun. Watch the top of the trigger for the take up. Okay, here we go. Unreal. Look at look at how non-existent over travel is. Now let's do the reset. Okay, now okay, let's do the take up, the pre-travel. Okay, I'm going to pull the trigger and watch the over-travel, or lack of, because you're not going to really see any. Okay, here we go. When this trigger breaks, look for over-travel. <laughs> this is unreal. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming here? Um, I, if I'm dreaming, this is one of the best dreams I've probably had. Um, you guys know me. I get really excited about something when I'm happy. And um, when I'm so pleased, I get very, very happy like this. <laughs> but um, David Bowie, I could not thank you more for this. Um, I would do this a hundred times over. A hundred times over. Without a second guess. In fact, I wouldn't doubt if in the future I don't send him uh, another, a different model Glock like a 19 or something. I'm saying a different model from my custom Glock is what I'm trying to say. Like a 19 or something because uh, this man knows his stuff. 
really upstanding guy. If you want to deal with David Bowie, go to Google and look up Bowie Tactical Concepts. It'll give you the list prices. I can't remember right offhand, guys, of the stippling. Ah, I really can't remember. I'm, I'm wanting to say 100 bucks for the whole stippling job. Um, things that were really cheap, really affordable. Uh, getting rid of this hump that prevented me from getting to the magwell easily. I believe that was $15. Trigger guard undercut to get my hand up in the web of this baby like it should be. I believe that was $15. LX trigger job. Oh, man. I wish I had the price list with me. Let me see. Maybe I got the price list right here. I know this video is getting long, but please bear with me, guys. Uh, this is my Christmas. My Christmas. Oh, I got prices. I got prices. Even, even better. Even better. And I'm glad I got this because I don't want to quote the wrong. I was quoting you too high on something here I see already. Okay. Stippling job. $90. That means from here to here, 360 all the way around this handle was $90. Stipple the thumb rest up here, which this is the best mod that I have... have this is the best mod for my hands that I've ever felt on a gun because I've never had that much control with a thumb as I do on this ledge with that, like that. He really knew he what he was doing. I told him I'm a left-handed shooter, and you see how he did that for me. I told him on the phone. I just happened to mention I'm a left-handed shooter, and look how he, look how he custom did that for my thumb. It's longer, a little bit longer. Um, you probably can't go longer over here, but it just seems like... He uh, he did that a little bit better there because I'm a left-handed shooter. Okay. M&P remove rise at mag release. Ten bucks. Ten bucks to remove the hump. Ten bucks to remove the hump. Uh, LX trigger. A hundred dollars even. So... You see this trigger? I would have sent him the gun, this whole gun for this trigger alone. If you don't want none of these done to your gun, and you but but you want you want to feel the smoothest trigger pull you've ever felt, send him this. Let's let's do it. I just can't quit. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit of take up. I'm just I'm just doing this. I'm just showing you the take up. Okay. Watch the top of the trigger. Oh man. I. I can't believe that. Let's do the reset. Watch the lack of over travel when I pull this trigger. It dead stops. It dead stops. It dead stops. I mean, it's it's so comfortable. And um, man, I I don't think there would be any way to get a trigger better on a gun like this. I don't. I think it's. I don't think it would be possible, humanly possible. So that trigger was a hundred dollars. Um, like I said, he did the reliability package for me because he felt that it needed it and it was something that I didn't have on my list. So he actually uh, did that for me. And it's just... I I can't, I'm just I'm just blown away. I can't even I can't believe this trigger. I cannot believe this trigger. I cannot believe this trigger. You talk about being able to stay on target. Do I think I'll be able to stay on target through this trigger pull? And uh yes, he does recommend these for concealed carry. He says he won't do a trigger in a gun that he that he don't think that you could conceal carry with. I uh, remember um, the smoothness of the trigger is better in performance than the lightness. I mean, smoothing out a trigger is better than shaving a pound off, in my opinion. So if you were to have a rough trigger and you said, should I smooth it out or take a pound off, I'd say smooth it out. So what he's done is he's got this so smooth that... Uh, you know, that it's just, man, this video is getting so long, guys. I'm sorry. 
man, hey, you're going to see a lot more of this gun to come, and i got to get some work done on my camera. David Bowie, sir, I thank you. You are an upstanding man. Um, this guy has credentials out. This guy has credentials that would fill half of a notebook. Look up, you know, you can look up and look what he currently does. Um, SWAT team training classes. Um, there's no lack of uh, credentials there. I would like to go to him for a training class. And I'm going to uh, probably talk to him soon about that. But all right, guys, until next time, this is H4T with the Bowie Tactical Concepts Custom M&P uh, Happier Than I Ever Thought I'd Be When I Sent It Out. And um, the man does fantastic work. All right, guys, until next time. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. My ammo haul, this huge order, coming up next. And I'll talk to you real soon.